Nelo CSGO. As one of the stranger bingo spaces this year, knives have now taken a huge upturn and have gained a ton of value across the board. Based on the comments from my last video, it seems like people are wanting a deeper explanation on knives than I offered in the previous video, so this video is now for you. We'll talk about this huge upturn and how to invest in knives in general after a word from our sponsor, VLoot. If you're a fan of free stuff, I have the perfect website for you. The sponsor for today's video is vloot.io. It's essentially your hub to go to to get a ton of free things, ranging all the way from CSGO skins to Roblox gift cards. Vloot is also an extremely trusted project, as you can see by their trust pilot right here. It has tons and tons of five-star reviews. They have over 1,800 reviews on Trustpilot at the time of making this video, so it's a great, very trustworthy project. And if you use the referral link in the description below, you can claim 100 free points as a free sign-up gift. The first section of Vloot to talk about is the Earn section. The Earn section is going to allow you to choose from different offer providers that all have different methods for you to gain free currency on Vloot that you can use to withdraw real money. Each of these offer providers has tons of different offers to choose from, so it's very easy to find something that you are interested in and that you can do quickly and easily. One thing you can do for easy points is by choosing a mobile app offer and doing that on the side while you watch my great investment content or Netflix, for example, and this will be a pretty easy way for you to earn points on the site. Vloot also has a referral section, so if you go ahead and make a code for free on Vloot and share it with your friends, there's an entire referral suite for you to use to see how many people you've signed up and how much you're earning from them. And if you don't want to do any of the offers, that's perfectly okay because you can just log into Vloot and get daily free bonus points. Once you've stocked up some points, you can head over to the withdrawal section, which features a gigantic amount of withdrawal options. You can get vouchers for huge CSGO third-party marketplaces like Skin Baron or CS Deals. You can get random Steam games, you can get different gift cards for Amazon or League of Legends if you're into that. You can even get Spotify Premium. And even if you don't want to do any of that easy stuff, you can also use their giveaway section to enter into free giveaways for some awesome prizes. So that's vloot.io, you can go ahead and check it out by using the link in the description below. Thanks. Let's start this video off by looking at some of the knife trends that have happened so far over the past six months or so. If we take a look at the Butterfly Fade, if you bought this six months ago, you could have got this for around the 12 thousand RMB area, but by now this thing is consistently selling at the 18,000 RMB area on buff, which as my admin donkey has experienced is a 6,000 RMB profit or a almost 900 US dollar profit. And this isn't just seen in the butterfly fade, this is seen across the entire knife market, including flip knives more recently. Knives that haven't just come out in the past couple of years have risen a crazy amount. If we take a look at a more long-term lifetime graph for the flip knife fade, for example, we can see that knives have a very specific trend. These spikes are usually only fairly minor, but after the spike happens, the knives tend to level out and tend to not really drop too much until a new set of knives comes out. This means that knives tend to be a very safe thing to hold on to because if you hold on to them for a very long time, they will simply accrue value and rarely ever go down below the price that you initially bought them for. Now I quickly wanted to look at something called the Esport Fire 300 Index. And quick side note, indexes are such a cool and important thing for CSGO investing and it's really cool that Esports Fire actually has an index that we can look at. If you don't know what an index is, essentially it's a way to encapsulate large portions of a market rather than just a single item for example. If we take a look at the Esports Fire Index, we can see that the entire market is up around 5% over the last month. However, it is important to note that many of the items that are included in this index are actually knives, and the knives hold a very large amount of value in the index as well. So it's pretty possible that the majority of that 5% increase was due to the knives. Unfortunately, Esport Fire does not feature a knife-only index, so hopefully they add one in the future, but for now we can't look at specifically knives. For the second section of this video, we're going to talk about knife investing. So knife investing, like I explained before, is a way to put a lot of money into basically one asset that is going to rise over time pretty slowly, but also very safely. Occasionally, you'll be able to pick up a bunch of knives before a huge spike happens and then sell it off at the top, which would be pretty short-term profits, but in general, knives are going to be a more long-term hold. Now, when it comes to picking out what knife to invest into, 
Your options are luckily not very limited. However, there are knives you're going to want to avoid. Newer knives, for example, are going to be knives that you probably don't want to buy into because they aren't really going to see very many increases at all. The only times that new knives see any increases are when they are initially undervalued by the overall market. This happens slightly with skeleton knives, for example, but this is something that's extremely hard to predict and also something that you shouldn't be trying to predict. I would also normally recommend that you try to avoid chroma reskins of knives, like the Huntsman Tiger Tooth that I have in the video here. However, these knives have actually been out for a very long time now, and I believe it's time for them to actually start seeing the same trend lines like the old original knife finishes see from time to time. I also kind of doubly believe this because there were gamma knife finishes released for a lot of the knives like the Butterfly, for example, pretty recently with the Dreams and Nightmares case and the Operation Riptide case. So I think because of those two reasons, it's time that some of these chroma knife finishes for knives like the Huntsman or the Flip, for example, could be solid investments. And before anyone tries to get on me for market manipulation or anything like that, I'm actually currently selling the Huntsman knife for a Falchion Gamma Doppler, which is a very new knife. So yeah, Chroma stuff has the okay from me. Now it's still good to hold on to those older knives that are now really expensive, like those Butterfly Fades and Karamit Fades, while the market will probably level out pretty soon here, with the way that the player base is increasing, and with how important knives are to an overall loadout, there's a good chance these things will just continue to get more and more expensive over time and become some insane high tier pieces, especially stuff like the Butterfly and Karamit Fade. I would try to stay away from the Safari Mesh and Scorch type things because while those are old knives and they meet that check mark, they don't look very good and aren't very desirable for a large portion of the player base. They definitely miss that mark and so for that reason, if you do have the funds, I would try to get something more high tier in that Fade, Doppler, or Slaughter area. The only knives I would recommend getting the lower tier skins on are the really good knives that people really like, like the Karambit or Butterfly. Because while they won't be buying the knife for skin reasons, they will be buying it for Karambit or Butterfly reasons. Stuff like the Flip Knife Urban Mast is not a good choice because neither the knife or the skin is very desirable. So to recap, low tier knife with high tier skin is good, or low tier skin with high tier knife is good. But a low tier knife with a low tier skin is bad, and a high tier knife with a high tier skin is really good. Beyond that though, I wouldn't say there is a lot more to say about this topic. I figured for the end of this video I'd give you a recommendation for a really high tier, a mid tier, and a low tier knife that I think would be decent options to look into as an investment long term. For the super high tier knife we're looking at the Butterfly Fade. This is basically the pinnacle of investment knives. It did go up a lot recently so do keep that in mind and try to wait for it to level out before you consider buying into it if you have this kind of funding. This thing is only available in the breakout case and will probably only be available in the breakout case for the majority of CSGO to come. It's a fantastic looking knife, it's extremely hard to get, and it is very expensive. For the mid-tier option we're looking at either a bayonet or M9 bayonet in one of these sorta mid-tier finishes. The M9 bayonet's gonna run you a lot more, they are generally a lot more expensive knife, but they are still definitely much cheaper than the Butterfly Knife Fade. Both the Bayonet and the M9 Bayonet are very beloved knives by the community, and these finishes are quite good on them as well, so I think this is a great mid-tier option. While these are found in 11 cases, all 11 of these cases are still very, very old and very expensive, so despite the amount of cases these are available in, they are still extremely hard to get. And for the final recommendation, we're going to be looking at the Huntsman Knife. For low-tier knives, you don't really have a lot of options. You're basically looking at either the Flip Huntsman or gut in terms of investing. The other low tier knives like the Navaja knife or the Falchion knife for example are either in the area of being too recent or too cheap to see any major upturn. So we're mainly going to be looking at the Huntsman knife here. The skins that I have on screen are only available in the Huntsman weapon case which is a $6 case to open. So these are a very very hard knife to get more of flooding into the market. They are a low tier knife, people aren't really super fond of the Huntsman knife, but thanks to that even high tier skin versions of the Huntsman are still fairly cheap when it comes to overall knife prices. So this is is one I would look into for the lower end of things. And with that, that is going to close out the video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thanks for taking out a piece of your day to spend it with me. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to leave a like on it. If you have any more questions, be sure to go ahead and leave a comment below. And for the best daily uploaded CSGO content for investing anywhere else on YouTube, be sure to subscribe to my channel. And to earn some free items and work your way up to a cool knife, you can go ahead and check out VLoot in the description below. You'll even get a free bonus for using my link. And check out my Discord and Twitter if you want to follow me there. Thanks guys, see you next time. Peace.